We'll start by coming into Viparita Karani, or legs at the wall pose. Find a nearby wall space, lay on your side, and scoot your bottoms as close as possible to the wall. Turn to lay on your back, and straighten both your legs, and rest them at the wall. Arms relax and spread out to the side. Breathe in and out through your nostril and observe the depth and the length of your breath. You might choose to let your legs fall outward and then keep your legs in straddle position. Else, Keep your knees bent and press the sole, soles of your feet together in butterfly legs position. Whichever legs position you are right now, let's stay here for several more breaths. Bring your knees together and gently scoot your hips away from the wall. Stop at about calf length distance from the wall and we are moving into a figure 4 stretch. Start with the sole of left foot pressing flat on the wall. Externally rotate your right hip to place your right foot on top of your left knee. Press the right knee away and interlace your fingers behind the left knee. Release and switch side. This time, externally rotate your left hip. Come into figure 4 shape. Press the left knee away and interlace your fingers behind your right knee. Release and roll over onto your side and then press up to seated position. Cross your legs in front of you and press your chin back and lower it down slightly towards your chest. Drop your chin down and turn your head looking at your right shoulder and turn your neck bringing your right ear close to your right shoulder and circle the neck to the left turning to your left shoulder and circle the chin down bring the chin up as you elevate your shoulder blades and then chin down relax your shoulders and turn to your left bringing the left ear towards the left shoulders Circle around the back to the right, turn to your right shoulders, chin down, and bring the chin up, elevate your shoulder blades, and chin down, relax the shoulders, and repeat one more time in each direction. release head back to center and roll your shoulders slowly making the circle as big as possible and reverse the direction of the circle relax your shoulders and extend your arms forward make fist and flex your wrist spread the fingers and extend the wrist. Keep going for several repetitions. Okay. 
to release your arms down and come onto your hands and knees, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Moving into cat and cow stretches, inhale and arch your spine, exhale and round your spine. Initiate the movement from your lower back and move with your breath, feeling the articulation of your spine. Keep going for a couple more rounds. Release back into neutral spine. Extend your right leg, right toes on the mat, and press through your right heel towards the back. Right knee down, and repeat with the other leg. Left knee down and widen your knees, big toes touching. Push your hips back to your heels, arms reaching forward. Bend your elbows, make a prayer hands above your head. Then place your hands at the top of your shoulder blades. Extend your arms forward. Lift your hips off your heels. Bring your knees closer and continue walk your hands forward. Keeping the hips over the knees as you lower the front of your chest towards the mat. Coming into puppy pose. Stay and breathe. Walk your hands back under your shoulders and push your hips towards your heels, coming into child's pose. And walk your hands to the right side, coming into side bend. Watch that your left hip is not lifted off your heel. Stay and breathe. Walk your hands back to the center and continue walking towards the right side. Stay on side bend on the right side. Make sure the right, heel, right hips stay on your heel. Walk the hands back to the center. Place left hand on the forehead and right hand at the back of your head. Inhale, lift your forehead and twist to the right. Exhale, forehead down. Repeat for several breaths. Switch hands and inhaling, this time to twist to the left, repeat for several breaths. Release and extend your arms forward. Reach your arms back to grab onto your heels. Start to round your spine, including your neck, as you lift your hips off your heels, bringing your head as close as possible towards your knees. Stay for a few breaths in rabbit pose. Walk your hands forward of your head and press up into cat pose, back still rounded. Return to neutral spine as you extend your legs and come into plank. Exhale, push your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent and start pedaling your legs. Release back into down dog, point your tailbone up, press with your hands, and stay for another two breaths in downward facing dog. Drop onto your forearms, walk your feet towards your elbows. Come into dolphin and stay for a couple of breaths. Walk the feet back, press up onto your hands, and back into downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up, keep your hips squared. 
bend the right knee and bring it close to your chest as you lean forward and step the right foot in between your hands. Drop the back knee on the mat and bring your torso upright. Tuck your tailbone in, interlace your fingers behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades to open the front of your shoulders and arch your upper back slightly. Release, hands on your mat, and step your left foot forward. Exhaling into forward fold. With an inhale, slowly unroll yourself up into standing. Step or hop your feet wider apart. Hands on your waist as you fall forward, this time with a straight back. Place both hands on the mat under your shoulders. Place left hand under your head. Inhale, twist to the right and extend the right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, twist to the left, left arm up, and switch, and keep going, inhaling to twist, exhaling back to the center. Both hands down, right hand reaching and grabbing the back of your left ankle twist your torso to the left and reach left arm overhead keep the hips square and in line with heels release and repeat on the second side Release and place your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, hands on waist, stand up with a straight back. Step or hop the feet closer. Slowly start to round your neck, upper back, lower back. Come into forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift your torso. Stay light on your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, step the right foot back. Lower the back knee. Bring the torso upright. Tuck the tailbone in. Roll your shoulders. Squeeze the shoulder blades and interlace the fingers behind your back. Arch your upper back. Stay and breathe. Release. Hands down. Tuck back toes, lift the back knee, and step the left foot back into one-legged dog, hip squared, and lower the left foot on the mat, downward facing dog. Drop onto your forearms, walk your feet towards your elbows, back into dolphin, and stay for a few breaths. Walk the feet back and press up onto your hands, downward facing dog. Push forward into plank and start to round your spine as you drop your knees. Untuck your toes. Your hands reach back and grab the heels. Drop your head as close as possible to your knees. and unroll, bring your torso upright and sit on your heels. We are moving into preparation for headstand. So grab a block and balance it on top of your head. Locate a point where you can balance the block and that will be the point where your head is making contact with the ground for your headstand. 
Lower down onto your forearms and grab your opposite elbows. Keep the elbows where they are and interlace the fingers ahead of the elbows. Place your head down at the point where you are balancing the block just now. Your interlacing hands cradling the back of your head. Straighten your legs and walk your feet closer towards your head. You either hold for a few breaths or try lifting one leg at a time. Walk back and drop your knees and rest in child's pose. If you have a strong and regular practice of handstand, you are welcome to pause the video and try going up into headstand. Otherwise, continue to rest in child's pose for a few more breaths. Inhale, unroll, bringing your torso up and we are moving into pranayama. Grab a block and sit on the block to elevate your hips slightly higher than your knees. Sitting tall and make a prayer in front of your heart center. Inhale, lift the prayer hands up. Exhale, spread the arms to the side. Inhale through nostril, exhale through mouth. And repeat for about 10 to 20 times. Two more times. Close your eyes. Place your hands on top of your knees. Return to natural breathing. Settling into your body with each breath. Going more deeply inward. Let your body become more still with each breath. After your next exhale, open your eyes. Remove the block from under your hips and we are moving into restorative poses. The first one is supported bridge. So lay down on your back with the knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Press with your feet, tuck your tailbone in, inhale and press up into bridge. Use the length of the block to support your sacrum across from left to right and place the block at the second highest setting. Once you are settled in your supported bridge, close your eyes and stay for the next several rounds of breathing. With every breath, Move further inward and towards stillness.
remove the block from under your sacrum and gently roll your back on the mat come onto your side and press up into seated position we are moving into supported halasana or plow pose so grab a chair or a bench and place it at one end of your mat place a blanket stack and keep a gap between the blanket stack and the chair for you to put your head later on and place a bolster or stack of head pillows beside the blanket stack sit your bottoms on the bolsters and make sure that your sacrum and lower back supported by the bolsters and then lay your upper back up to the top of your shoulders on the blanket stack and place your head down on the mat check that the back of your neck is not supported by any surface lift your legs up and using a slight momentum kick up and rest the lower part of your legs on the chair or bench adjust the position of the chair or bench if necessary and either place your hands on the bolsters or interlace your fingers behind your back close your eyes and breathe again using every breath to move further inward and towards stillness open your eyes support your lower back as you slowly roll yourself back onto the blanket stack and onto the bolsters lower your feet on the mat gently roll onto your side and remove the chair or bench to the side place one blanket on one end of the mat for you to lay your head on place the bolsters under the creases of your knees and if your feet are dangling use a block to support under your heels lay your back on the mat keep your arms relaxed by your side chin down closer to your chest and gently close your eyes shift your awareness back into your breath in and out through your nostrils everything becomes more quiet and still only you and your breath be comfortable and rest in that stillness
start to deepen your breathing and return your awareness into your physical body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Shake your head side to side. Invite gentle little movement back into your body and then roll yourself onto your side. Stay on your side for a moment. Whenever you're ready, press up into seated position. Thank you for joining this practice. Stay well. Namaste.